We are here because there is no more important issue before us as a country than the education of each and every child. All of our arguments should remember the why of our movement, which is kids. Every child deserves the right to have a place to call an academic home. The unit that matters in education is a thing called the school. That's where parents send their kids, that's where kids go to get an education. And from the day I arrived in New York, my goal was to have as many great schools as I could have. Finding a way to make every child access his or her potential is our work. If you look at any debate, you'll find that the side that's losing is fighting against things. The side that's winning is fighting for people. You guys have a chance as a group, as this collaborative network, to really hit that tipping point and begin changing the, the achievement levels of our kids in real time. And our hope is not that students will graduate from high school or just get into college. We say to our students, we don't want you to court college, we want you to graduate. The, the heart of the American experiment is pushing opportunity to the people who need it the most. That's what this movement is all about, by the way. Patience is a virtue, but not in this circumstance. If I have to ever affect policy, this is where it can be. And to be very honest, and I'm not flattering America, the kind of change I'm talking about, if it has to happen, I believe it is in this country, in America, that it can happen. I recently learned that a pencil holds 40,000 words. You can imagine when I gave this kid my pencil, how he just lit up with this sense of imagination and curiosity and, most importantly, potential. We have seen in case after case, in community after community, at the micro level, how school choice has been able to pull people toward this concept of earned success. My son Gregory is diagnosed with autism. He's seven years old. However, we started dealing with issues with him from when he was 18 months old and originally diagnosed with apraxia of speech, and it just went from there. I found out about Florida's PLSA program, Personal Learning Scholarship. It's a call that changed my life. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to receive a scholarship. I'm going to follow my dreams. I just remembered what my mom and my dad and parents just instilled in me to be the person that they taught me to be, to be the student that they taught me to be, and to focus on what school is really about, and that's learning. I'm not sure I'm aware of any other enterprise in this country where we've spent so much money and, and had such lackluster results. I know that when you go back, you're going to be bold. I know you're going to be courageous because you are champions for our children.